Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're going to be implementing the insert method for our binary search tree. So to get started, we're going to be creating a helper class called node. And this node class is going to have the following data members. It's going to have data, which holds the data for our node. And here we're going to have a pointer to the left and right child nodes. Now here, we're going to have a one argument constructor, which is getting passed in data. We set our data to the data being passed in here. And then we just initialize our left and right pointer to null. And that's just to symbolize that this node has no children. Moving on to our main class, we have a private data member called root. And this is going to be the pointer that points to the root of our binary search tree. And here we have our no argument constructor which is going to initialize the root to null to symbolize that our tree is empty. Now here we have our insert method, which is going to take in the data that we want to insert within our tree. And from here, we're going to call another method called insert private and pass in our data as well as our root pointer. So if we were to take a look at our insert private method, we're passing in the root pointer by reference. So we're working with the original and not a copy. Moving down here, we test to see if root is null. If it is, that means that our tree is empty. So that just means that we make it our root node. Now, if we come down to either of these else if statements, that means that our tree is not empty. It means that we're checking to see whether we can go left or right. So if the data is less than the data of the node that we're currently at, we're going to check to see if we can insert as the left child. If the left child is not null, that means we can't insert here. So we make a recursive call passing in the data and the pointer to the next node. If the left pointer is null, that means we could just insert here. And likewise, the same would apply if we were to reach this else if statement, except this else if statement has to do with the right side. So if we come down here, that means that the right child is not null. So we can't insert here. We make a recursive call passing in the data in the pointer to the next node. And if we were to reach the else statement, that means that we could insert here. So if all this is confusing, let's actually take a look at our insert method in action. So first from our main function, we create an instance of our binary search tree. Then we call our insert method and pass in 10 as an argument. So we're going to push this onto the stack. And if you were wondering why we're using a stack, it's just to give a visual representation of what happens when we start making recursive calls. Next, we're inside of our insert method. So we push this onto the stack and our insert method just invokes our insert private method. Now we're inside of our insert private method. So we push this onto the stack. Now we're here. We check to see if root is null. In this case it is. So we just create a new node and set our root to point to it since it's the only node within our tree. And since we finished executing our insert private method, we can now pop it off the stack. So now, since the only thing that was in our insert method was our insert private method and that has finished executing, we could pop off our insert method from the stack. And finally, since our insert method has finished executing, we can now execute the rest of the code within our main function. So we could finish popping this off the stack. Now we insert five into our tree. So let's push that onto the stack. We're inside our insert method and our insert method invokes our insert private method. So we push that onto the stack. Now we're inside of our insert private method. So now let's start executing some of the code. First, we go to our if statement. Is our root null? No, it's not. So we move down here. Is the data we're trying to insert less than the data at our root? Yes, it is. So let's start executing this else if block. Is the left child of the root we're currently at not equal to null? No. So we can move to our else statement and we can safely insert here. We finish executing our insert private method. So now we could pop it off the stack and return to our insert method. Once again, we're back in our insert method. And since our insert private method has finished executing, 
and it's the only thing within our insert method, we pop insert off the stack. And finally, our main function sees that our insert method has finished executing, so we could pop this off the stack and continue executing the rest of the code within our main function. Inserting 15 now, so we could push that onto the stack. Now we're inside our insert method. Our insert method invokes our insert private method, so we could push that on top of the stack. Now we're inside our insert private method, so let's start executing our insert private method. So is our root equal to null? It's not, so we move down here. Is the data we're trying to insert less than the data at the current root node that we're at? No, it's not. So we move down to the next else if statement. Is the data that we're trying to insert greater than the data of the root node we're at? Yes, it is. So now we test to see if the root node has a right child. It doesn't. So we move down here and we can safely insert here. Since we finish executing our insert private method, we pop it off the stack and we return to our insert method. And since we've executed all the code within our insert method, we could pop this off the stack as well. And finally, we return to our main function. And since our insert method has finished executing, we can now continue executing the rest of our main function. So we pop it off the stack. Now we can execute our final insert method. So we push that onto the stack. We're inside our insert method and our insert method invokes our insert private method. So we push insert private on top of the stack. And now we can start executing the code within our insert private method. So first we check to see if our root is null. It's not. So we move on to our else if condition. Is the data we're trying to insert less than the root data that we're currently at? Yes, it is. So now we move here. Is the roots left child not equal to null? In this case, it's not. So now we make a recursive call calling our insert private method once more, passing in seven in the pointer to the left child of the current root. So now we're inside our insert private method once more. So we push this on top of the stack. Is the root equal to null? It's not, so we move down here. Is the data that we're trying to insert less than the data at our current root? No, so we go to the next else if statement. Is the data greater than the data at the current root? It is. So now we move here. Is the right child of the root not null? No. So we move to our L statement and we can safely insert as the right child. So now that we're done executing our insert private method, we could pop this off the stack. We return back to the previous insert private method. And since we finished executing this insert private method, we could pop this off the stack. We return to our insert method. And since our insert method only had our insert private method and our insert private method has finished executing, we can now pop our insert method off the stack. And finally, we return back to our main function. And since insert has finished executing, we can now pop this off and continue executing our program. And since there's nothing left to execute, our program terminates. So that's pretty much the ins and outs of how we can insert within our binary search tree.